International Women Writers Symposium will be taking place from the 14th to the 16th of September at the Jobek Theatre. The program will feature a number of women from the world. The aim really is to celebrate the achievements of women authors and also to offer women a platform to showcase their works. The event will include a number of things, including panel discussions, or workshops, of course, starting today, uh, lectures, as well as entertainment from poets and musicians. But to tell us more about uh, this beautiful initiative, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by Arts Alive a program manager, Roshni Munsami, as well as uh, one of the featured poet, poets, um, Pelita Andre. Good morning to both of you, ladies, and Good thank morning. you so much for coming through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Roshni, let's just look back to five years ago when this program started. How has it grown over the years? Oh, the program has grown, you know, exponentially. It's been just fantastic. We started off at the Windy Brow Theatre and, you know, still love to go back there, but it's just been fantastic. And now it's been featured in the Arts Alive program for the past three years with the assistance of the Department of Arts and Culture. And it has, like, you know, over the years we've just had an international array of poets and writers from overseas, locally, um, and highly acclaimed women writers, the Arab world, the African diaspora, and women getting together to mm -hmm. discuss literary issues current political issues, all within in terms of women and literature and where we're at. Yeah. Uh, and this year we celebrate, once again, we do the In Memoriam Lecture for Nadine Gordimer. So this will be the third one. And we're very pleased to announce that Lorna Goodison, like one of the Caribbean's most famous poets, yeah. will be coming out wow. to honor us and do the keynote address on Friday at the Joburg Theatre. Wow, well, that sounds fantastic. But from what you're telling me, it looks like uh, the interest and the capabilities are there from women around the world in terms of literature. Yes, certainly. And also from young writers like Belita and young people, you know, young, you know, and we, we also feature men in the program, okay. although it's the focus is on women. Yes. You, you're uh, just not being discriminated. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to include them. Let me just bring Belita into, into, into the conversation, of course. Belita, talk to us about your role in, in the symposium. Uh, I will be performing um, on... Well, you know, it runs for three days within the Arts Alive event itself. And we will be having workshops along with performances, music, and just sharing the art, mm -hmm. which is what I will be doing with a lot of poets and just remarkable women that have been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. And it would be great to not only interact with these people, but to share a platform with them and learn from them as well, because no. it is a learning space. Is it your first, first time participating in this program? It is my first time participating. And are you looking forward to it? I am. Yeah. But talk to us about your work. What does it uh, depict? Uh, I Initially, I started out writing about the contradictions in society or in humanity, period. You know, how we can't make up our minds and how we stand for this, yet we stand for that. And over the years, it has, my, my work has drifted towards um, just homes in general. You know, our relationships with family, with our neighbors, with our religious lives and just everything that keeps us grounded, yeah. basically. And listening to what you're saying, I'm so tempted to ask, how old are you? How many <laughs> things did you write about? Uh, I'm 19. Not, when did you start? I started when I was like nine. Yeah, so. Obviously, it wasn't as polished uh, as yeah, it is yeah. now. But, but you've been growing, of course, over the years. Definitely. All right. But wh why do you think it is important for women writers to partake in this initiative? Um, I've, I feel like, you know, we, we always speak about how we need a voice and no one's listening or we're seen as just objects and whatnot. And this is a platform for us to have a voice beyond telling our friends and complaining to whoever else would listen, you know, poetry and just writing as a way to express ourselves. And before anything else, we are human beings that need to communicate yeah. and understand where we stand. All right. Yeah. Um, Roshni, there, as I said on my introduction, of course, uh, there is, of course, a number of things that will happen. I know that um, the masterclass workshops are starting today. Talk to us about the yes, entire program. the masterclass workshops actually start tomorrow, and it's from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. 
and on Friday from 3 to 5 at the Joburg Theatre at the Fringe. It's free, it's open to everybody. And in the evening on the 15th, we have the keynote address, which is also open to the public at the Fringe Theatre, at the Joburg Theatre in Bramfontein, followed by fantastic poets like yeah. Belita and uh, Kole Kaputuma and Diane Ferris from Cape Town and a range of other young poets, including Lorna Goodison. And then on Saturday, we have two panel discussions that start from about 11, ends off at about 3 o'clock at the Joburg Theatre. Lunch is provided and everything is free. Oh. And writers are really welcome to come and partake in these uh, p panel discussions. And for young people, you know, Lorna Goodison is a professor from Michigan University for the African-American Studies Department. So she'll be conducting a master class on Thursday, that's tomorrow, at 3 o'clock. Um, and then we have Diane Ferris and we have Koleka Putuma. Diane is former lecturer at University of Western Cape. She'll come out on, fr um, on Friday and do a workshop um, as well. But the whole weekend for Arts Alive is fantastic. We also have a fantastic a cappella night at the Joburg Theatre sure. in the evening on Saturday night with the Soil, the Baobab Sisters from Denmark, Complete. We also have a fantastic uh, Urban Clash Festival at the Soweto Theatre on Saturday. Um, and that ends like from 12, from 12 in, in the day till like 8 o'clock at night. So the whole weekend is jam-packed with... Yeah. A little um, bit of everything for yeah, everyone. Music, yes, yeah. music in Soweto, uh, music at the Joburg Theatre, literary discussions, poetry. So it's just a fantastic weekend this week as part of the Arts Alive program. And I think the most fantastic part of it is having young women like Barita being Absolutely. part of this initiative. Absolutely. Um, and Belita, like all the musicians, you know, started off young and... You know, she'll just mm. grow and grow, and we've featured many, many artists and collaborations with international poets and other, you know, festivals. All right. Now, let's leave it at that, ladies, but thank you so much for coming through. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much indeed. Well, there you have it. Uh, Roshni Munsami is Arts Alive a program manager, of course, and we're in conversation with some of one of the featured poets, Belita Andre, talking to us about the Fifth International Women's Writers Symposium. So I believe they should go to your website for more information. Yes, yes, yes. Arts Alive, uh, dot, um, co .za and our Facebook page, Arts Alive Joburg International Festival. All right. That's it. Thank you so much. Well, it's 8 o'clock. Time for your news at 8. Leanne has all the details.